Well, I had to get one of them working at least just to bloody show some results of my efforts. So this is the one from the 1920s, which was the, the second one that I built, and it was really, really bad. And as you can see, it's already started tarnishing. So it's weathering well, at least. Uh, the exhaust ain't connected at the minute, so I'm expecting... yeah. It's lovely and free. I haven't done the, the timing. Um, I've loosely set it. I haven't got a clue what's going to happen. The boiler, I've already um, preheated it. Uh, it's bloody hot. Here is my heater. <laughs> so I'm going to fire it up now. As you can hear, it's not it's not the quietest of things. So, and I've still got things to do on this engine, but I had to get it running. I had to get something running. At least I've still got the bands to put around here. Um, I've still got the stand to do for the, the boiler. And everything else, but I've pressurised, depressurised, it's gone up to 60 psi, no problem whatsoever without me in the room, there's no leaks on it. The pressure relief valve slight, slightly leaks, excuse me. So I've, I've got to try something, because I've been on this so long. This isn't the final setup, that pipe's just there, just as a temporary thing. And as you can see, we've got steam coming out already. Please work, please work. Please work. Those flame tubes, uh, sorry, the heat exchangers are working really well. This water gets hot in around about 10 minutes. So it's quite good. The pressure relief valve is set at 30 psi, I think. It starts hissing before that anyway, because it is slightly leaking. showing on the gauge. <laughs> There's not even any pressure showing on that. Just off zero now. Oh, 
There's not even any pressure showing up. It runs on nothing. Bit of a knocking, I don't know where that's coming from. Probably one of the main bearings because I couldn't have, I couldn't tighten them up anymore. <laughs> oh yes. Mm -hmm. 